So this is uh, section 4.2, dimensional analysis, and we are going to um, just do some conversions using dimensional analysis. So one example for dimensional analysis is uh, when you set, first set up the problem, you can kind of ignore the numbers and then just focus in on the units. So for example, if I have miles per hour, that's miles divided by hours. And if I have some number associated with that, I'll keep it. Um, but then I would, if I multiply that by hours, notice it's hours divided by one. This is the dimensional analysis part. Hours divided by hours is one. They cancel each other out. So if one's in the numerator, one's in the denominator, they're going to cancel each other out. So my answer would be left in miles. It's kind of a way to help me figure out how to solve problems. Um, so here's another example. If I have miles per hour and I multiply it that by some number that's uh, how about, sorry, kilometers per mile, kilometers per mile. Notice that my dimensional analysis piece is miles divided by miles. Is, those cancel out, so my answer would end up being in uh, kilometers per hour. And you can, you can solve really big, long problems with this sort of analysis. Again, notice I'm not doing anything with numbers right now. I'm just doing it with the words. The numbers would just kind of come along with them. And I'll do some examples of those in a minute. So here's a, here's a good long one. If I had miles per hour and I multiplied by that number that was hours per minute, like how many hours in one minute, and then I multiplied that by how many minutes there are in one second or minutes per second, and then I multiplied that by how many feet there are in one mile, think about what units my, my answer would be in. So, do do do. Uh, hours would cancel out. Minutes would cancel out. Miles would cancel out. So notice my answer would be left in feet per second. All right. So let's actually let's actually do something with this. So I know there are uh, about 0.305 uh, meters in one foot. And I'm going to say I have 30 feet, and I want to change that into so many meters. So think about how this would help me. Um, right now, I'm just in feet, but I want my answer to be in meters. So basically, I want feet to be canceled out and meters to be left. So if I think about this as feet per over 1, if I multiply this by something that was in um, meters per foot, notice my feet would cancel out. So foot would cancel out. Foot, my answer would be in meters. So now let me, let me put in the numbers. Um, the meters, there's 0 0.305 meters for every one foot. So notice that if I set it up with the words like this, those cancel out, and then all I have to do is the multiplication. 30 times 0 0.305 so let's see what that is. Uh, 30 times 0 0.305. It looks like 9.15. So that means my answer would be 9.15. And that's uh, meters. That's how many meters there are in 30 feet. Uh, let's do another example. Um, if I told you there were 2.54 centimeters in one inch. And I knew that I had uh, 12 centimeters, and I want to know how many inches that is. So let me think about the words. This is like over one. I want centimeters to, be, to cancel out, so I want centimeters in the bottom. And I want inches left, so I want inches in the top, because centimeters will cancel out centimeters. So now let me attach the actual numbers here. Uh, it's one inch, and it's 2.54 centimeters. So notice that now that I have this fraction, I'll end up with 12 divided by 2.54. Uh, 12 divided by 2.54, about 4.72. So I can say about 4.72. Again, the words help me set up the problem. Uh, here's another one. There are 3.79 about... Uh, liters in one gallon. 
Uh, similarly, if I have, uh, let's say, 75 gallons, and I want to know how many liters that is, I can set it up again. I'm going to set up just with the words. I want gallons to cancel out, but liters to be left. So I know that this is 3.79 liters for one gallon. Notice this, uh, 3.79 liters divided by one gallon. This is a one. Like, those are equal to each other. So I'm really just multiplying by one, so I can change the, the form, but not. But I'm going to change the value as well. So gallons cancel out. Seventy-five point. Sorry, seventy-five times three point seven nine. Seventy-five times. Oh, what was it again? Three point seven nine. Three point seven nine, and I get about. 284.25. All right. So again, just get that practice in setting it up with the words. Let the numbers follow along. Uh, message me if you have any questions, and good luck with that assignment.